in America we are the notorious creators of reality TV. It came about kind of in the late 80s with some MTV shows that produced a new generation of viewers, of voyeurs actually. We are such the voyeur society that people are really hurt by those that push them away. After they've come into their lives, they utilize them, abuse them in a way, and then they pull out and rip the soul strings out of their hearts. In my book called Soul Keepers, I talk about soul strings that are ripped and are irreparable. I also talk about the soul strings that run deep within the soul and are never quite the same when that person is lost. In America, we have people who always want to be the cleaner-uppers of society. We have Secret Service, we have FBI, we have CIA, and they are the highest, allegedly, intelligence in the law enforcement networks. You can take a girl like Evi Pompouris and clean her up and put her in all these kind of wild and crazy fashion photography shoots with a photographer who has good lighting skills and poor depth of field abilities, but that doesn't mean that's what's going to market her to her dreams or the dreams and the plans that the Lord has made for her. I use this as a simple example because for a short period of time, the woman's work, in terms of her work online, has been an inspiration to observe. The inspiration is not necessarily in the femininity of the woman or the intelligence and brilliance of her soul, but it's the reality that God himself actually gave me the spelling of her name. That's significant to any man. The life of a man is the life of a man, and in my manhood I have the right to make decisions about my own fashion, my own abilities, and the people who like to piss on me might say my own emotionalism. The reality is that people have the right to have emotions, and people have the right to be raging for the rest of their life, and passionate about the important stories of our life. But the most important storyline of my life has been aided and abetted to be abused and used by the people who stole from me my next wife. In that regard, God had to show me the only person who could possibly and potentially replace that woman. And when I see that the Lord has lifted himself up, not any higher than he is, but he simply picked a star out of the sky.